Hey guys, what's up? So it's been a long while since I've done a favorites video. I actually haven't done one in a really, really long time. But lately, I've been using a ton of products and as I'm using them, I have to like stop myself and set it aside to show you guys because if not, I'll totally forget. So I basically set aside a bunch of beauty favorites that I've been loving lately and yeah, I'm just going to show you guys what they are. So I'm going to start with this first one. It is by the brand Laneige and they used to carry this at Target like a couple years ago and recently I was looking for it at Target. I wanted to try out this face wash. I heard really good things about it and they actually now sell it at Sephora so they no longer carry it at Target. But this is a really good face wash and this works so good. It's for normal to dry skin. It takes off all my makeup and also hydrates my skin. I've never used a facial cleanser like this before. And yeah, if you have like stubborn makeup on or foundation, it takes everything off. So I've been really loving this one. So yeah, this is my second bottle of this stuff. I love this stuff. It's so good. So this one is a beauty blender cleansing spray. It's called Insta Clean Waterless sponge and brush the brush cleansing spray and i picked this up i was a little skeptical i've used brush cleaners before that you just use to like spot clean your brushes throughout the week and they've made like my allergies act up and just didn't get the brushes really clean or anything like that so when i picked this up and tried it out i was shocked and this is good if you're traveling too you can like wash your uh, makeup brushes like deep clean your brushes before you go on vacation and then throughout your vacation you can just Spray your brushes down with this during the week and yeah, this stuff is so cool. Um, yeah, I'm all out. I have nothing left. So I have to pick up another bottle of this, but I've been really loving this to kind of like spot clean my brushes in between uh, like deep washes and stuff. I have one fragrance and it is this one by MAC. This is the Creme de Nude. I used to use Turquatic and then I used a bunch of other like Dolce Gabbana, different types of perfumes that I've been like obsessed with for a long time. But recently I smelled this one in store and I fell in love with it. It's so soft. It's like, it's just like the best perfume. If you like really soft scents, uh, you'll probably like this one. It's like a really creamy, soft, I don't know. It's really good. Um, but yeah, I picked this up at the Mac store and it came with like a little travel size that I put in my purse. And it also came with the creme de nude lipstick and it was on sale for like 40 bucks so it was like a really good deal but yeah i love the nude uh color of this bottle and it's just so pretty so i just sit it here on my vanity and yeah that's been like my perfume my go-to perfume lately this one this is the mac lipstick and cherish i'm actually wearing this today and it's a gorgeous nude color i use this every day and sometimes i'll use honey love too but this one's like my go-to lately it's just the perfect nude lipstick and sometimes i'll go in with cork lip liner just to make it a little darker but yeah i've been loving this lipstick lately and then i go over top with this nars this is the afterglow orgasm lip balm and i love this rose gold it's like so cool but the color is gorgeous. I like to use this throughout the day if I'm wearing lipstick and my lips get a little dry or start cracking. I just put a little bit of this on and it adds moisture and a little like tint of pink. It's really pretty. So yeah, I just um, use this with the other ones sometimes and I've also been loving that one lately. This one's a little messy. I got some makeup all over it. But this is the Hourglass Foundation. I forget the name of it. It's called, I think it's the Vanish Foundation. And this one's in Golden Tan. I just discovered the other day this was made in Korea. And I've been loving like Korean skincare and like makeup stuff lately. So yeah, this is really good. I use this throughout the whole entire summer. So you can see this is a little darker. I'm kind of like faded out, but when I tan, this is a perfect shade. And this has been so good to me this summer. There's been so many activities where it's like so hot outside. And you know that feeling when your makeup's just melting off in the summertime? It's like not a good feeling. You want to just wash your face off. So this has been really good. I've applied this a bunch of times this summer and put it to the test in really hot weather. And my makeup was good. It didn't feel like it was melting off or anything. It like really stayed put. Um, this is a waterproof foundation. So that's why I guess it works so good. And I also used this when I went to Niagara Falls. My whole entire face got soaked, like drenched. And my makeup looked fine after that when we went to go eat and stuff. So 
yeah i've been loving this foundation during the summertime i should have started with this one because this is my number one holy grail favorite product at the moment and this is the igk first class dry shampoo it's a charcoal detox dry shampoo and they have three different ones like a lighter medium and this is like the heaviest one uh, the lighter one's invisible i forget the name of the other one and this is the detox uh charcoal one but i've been a hairstylist for 10 or more years and i've tried every single dry shampoo there is out there the invisible one i repurchased about four or five times because i loved it that much until i tried this one i was staying somewhere i think we were away for like three days like a little weekend getaway i washed my hair before we left and while we were there, I just applied a little bit in my root every day. And it just made my hair look even better and better every single time I sprayed it. And I was just like in shock that this is so good. Yeah, I'm probably going to be using this one for a very long time. I don't even want to try another dry shampoo because this stuff is so good. And I don't know, when I spray it in my hair, it just makes my hair look better. It gives me a little volume and I don't feel like greasy the next day like other dry shampoos. So... Yeah, this is very long lasting and I love this stuff. So I saved this goodie for last and this is the L'Oreal Paris Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. I purchased this and I didn't really think that I was going to like it as much as I did. I tried it out twice and then I kind of just left it on the side of my drawer while I was using like other mascaras. But I came back to it and tried it out again and lately this is all I've been using every single day. I love this mascara. I'm actually wearing this today. And mine is in the shade Black is Black. I want to try the black color as well. But this is so good. Like it's shocking how good this is for a drugstore mascara. It's very comparable to other high-end mascaras and I love the wand because it's like this big chunky wand and it just separates my lashes really nicely. I would say if you get this uh, clean off like a lot of the product before applying it because when you first get it a lot goes on so just kind of like scrape your wand off but yeah mine is like if you can hear it it's all like dried out and stuff so I'm gonna go pick up a new one but yeah this has been like an everyday favorite of mine lately it's so 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 good so yeah those are all my favorites that I've been loving lately as far as beauty products go I am going to try to do maybe a favorites video every month or every other month of stuff that I've been liking. I kind of want to do like a food one next because there's like a ton of good food and snacks and stuff that I've been liking. And before I let you guys go, I just want to say I did notice that we're approaching 5,000 subscribers on my channel. And I just want to thank you guys for all the support and love that you guys show me. Some people have been writing like the sweetest, nicest comments and I just love interacting with you guys and giving back. So I'm going to be doing a giveaway very soon in one of my next videos. Make sure you guys turn on your post notifications. It's a little bell next to the subscribe button. That way you guys will be able to be notified or see when I'm going to be doing the giveaway. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. If you did, give it a thumbs up, like and subscribe and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.